Hello, happy Monday. This is your angel message. We are in a first quarter moon today, so it is a really good day to take action. So think about taking action. I'm going to do some bibliomancy from one of my favorite actionable books, The Big Leap by Gay Hendricks at the end here. But in the interim, think if you would like position one, two, ooh, or three. We have a really important full moon that's coming up. It's going to be an eclipse. It's going to be a blood moon. It's intense. It is a big time for transformation, sudden change, and shift. So expect the unexpected and be prepared. And today, this week, think about how you can take action to hmm, maybe, I don't want to say prep, but get in the right mindset for that or take action on big changes and transformations that are to come. If you're choosing position number one, the card you get is peace. How can you take the steps to be in a more peaceful life? The two doggies are on here on this card. And so whenever I choose this card, um, I like to really be reminded to give them a little bit of love, but this is about calming your spirit and allowing for peace to reign. This is also feng shui wise. It's a really good time to check in and make sure that you have a peaceful space in your home. Now, I'm choosing a support card for each position today because it is a really actionable time. So these two together, this is the stove card. Hey, Nana, cook up something delightful, cook up something delicious. And I'm sending extra love to her this week as the anniversary of her husband's transformation is upon us pretty timely. So if you're choosing these positions and clean your stove, um, think about what is it that you want to change? What is ready to change? What is ready to shift? And how can you prep your space by being in a really um, peaceful mindset and body? That's a really important action step because you are about to cook up something delightful. What is it? And what's one small action step that you could do this week? If you're choosing position two, <laughs> you also <laughs> Get peace. Now you saw me shuffle the deck. I pulled this from the middle. That is wild. So maybe that's why I was guided to do. Um, I, I was guided to do two cards, and then the top card on this deck is build really, really closely to cook. So we're all cooking up delightful things. Take action on that. But these two together, I would actually say to build a peace altar. So while the first one, what is the major differences between positions one and two? Well, the first one is about actually, it feels really actionable, um, doing things, taking action um, for peace, with peace. This is more of building and it's more silent action. So think about building an altar, still taking action steps to build what it is that you're creating, but doing so in a way that's more visionary, manifesting, understanding that you are capable of creating what you really desire. This is also, it's more of a patient, peaceful first moon. So the first position feels a little bit more actionable. The second position, well, yes, you're still building and you're moving towards this future that you really desire. It's also in a little bit slower or patient way. I'm going to choose one more card for that. And if I were you choosing position two, I would activate prosperity and abundance, uh, maybe even building an altar of shift in the back left corner of your home or of your a room of an office. And then finally, if you're choosing position number three, the top card is to feel. This is a mediumship card. So I have to say that there's like some hellos in heaven. And the second card that you get is energy flow. So if you're choosing this position, well, firstly, if you're choosing this position and you're in the Embody One membership, I would say it's going to be really important to do that aura cleansing some of the um, information that's in the workbook. I would also say that it's super important to do the um, ritual for the home this month and feeling into the energy of your space. But these two together, um, as I'm looking at them here, I would say to feel into the truth of your body, to feel into your authentic truth. And I have some shares coming up around that, but feel into your authentic truth where you are really creating each moment, moment to moment living, to be um, an experience of what is so right and true for your heart. I actually have a share um, that's an authenticity check-in 
And I'm going to include that link down below so that you can see uh, maybe there's some things there right before this really big shift that's coming where you can, you know, really ensure that you are making decisions that are aligned with your energy flow. So you could check that out. Now, as promised, Bibliomancy from the Big Leap. I just opened the book and see what we all would benefit us all to hear. And it is building a new home. <laughs> zone of genius and I'm laughing because of the build card um so this is it's really really interesting it ties it all in building a new home in your zone of genius how to make every moment an expression of your genius and I would say tune in to chapter four if you have the big leap book um and it talks about this chapter you discover what is my genius and how can I bring forth my genius in ways that serve others and myself at the same time and that's what this is that's what this month is all about with the moon flow um and I will read this final sentence those who have the courage to discover and bring forth their genius break through to unparalleled heights of productivity and life satisfaction so there we have it folks so happy first quarter moon be actionable be in your being in a peaceful way and may we all be um, taking action steps and leaps at this first quarter moon this week before really big change hmm my earring just fell so listen to the messages around you and may it be blessed i'm sending you big love <laughs>